So we all want our gaming channels to grow and sometimes it can be tempting to put a lot of work into trying to get results fast, snatch the quick win. But if you're on the offensive, desperately trying to get more views and subscribers quickly, it can be easy to fall prey to a big trap that actually keeps you small and negates basically all the good work you're doing. So in this video, I want to address that trap, tell you what to do about it so you don't get stuck in it. Let's get stuck into it. G'day, my name's Marcus Jones. Now, I used to suck at getting views and subscribers, but now I suck a little bit less, so I started this channel to share some of my experiences and hopefully help you grow your gaming channel faster. And after clicking on this video, you're probably wondering, Marcus, what is this big trap you speak of? Are you just trying to clickbait me, or is this a real problem I actually may have? Well, my friend, before I waste too much of your time, let's see if there's a chance that you are suffering from this problem. Firstly, do you find it relatively easy to get some views, so a small amount of views, whether that's 5 views, 10 views, 20 views, 50 views, whatever it is. The YouTube algorithm does send a little bit of traffic your way, but you struggle to convert those viewers into subscribers. So even if your video, say, gets 20 views, none of those viewers will actually ever subscribe to you. But you can't do this to me. You know how much I sacrifice? Or maybe you already have a handful of subscribers, but very few of them actually watch and engage with your videos. You might have 20, 30, 40, 100, 200 subscribers, but your views definitely don't reflect that. Or maybe you've checked your analytics and you've noticed that you're getting subscribers each month, but you're also losing subscribers each month, and you don't know why. Well, if any of these things sound familiar, you might be suffering from the big problem I want to cover in this video. It's, it's frustrating. You put in all that hard work to get your content out there, to get some views, but then only a tiny percentage of viewers actually subscribe to your channel. And then out of those subscribers, only a tiny percentage of them actually stay active on your channel. And then after a few weeks or months, the majority of them then unsubscribe, little bastards. Now, of course, all of these symptoms we've just been over could be caused by a variety of problems. But the one big mistake I want to specifically talk about in this video is inconsistency. If you feel like you can relate to any of the things I just mentioned, inconsistency, or rather a lack of understanding all the facets of consistency and how they make or break your YouTube channel, it could be the big thing holding you back. Because, spoiler alert, consistency is huge on YouTube and there are way more facets to consistency than just uploading regularly or being productive. So in this video, I really wanna dive deep into consistency itself so you can gain a proper understanding of it and start converting more viewers into subscribers who will then actually stay active on your channel for the long term. So we've got a bunch of things to cover, let's get into this video. Firstly, what is consistency? Consistency, as mentioned, is often confused with upload frequency, aka the amount of videos you post, or productivity, the amount of videos you can create in the time you have available. Now, while these things, upload frequency and your productivity, definitely have a big impact on consistency. In fact, one could argue that they have the biggest impact on being able to maintain consistency. They in themselves are not consistency. The core essence of consistency, the definition of consistency, is actually acting or doing something in the same way over an extended period of time. In other words, consistency is a pattern of like strong recurring elements of something. So to give you a concrete example, let's take Larry, our example guy. Now let's say that Larry's been active on YouTube for five years and Larry uploads one video every three months. So once every quarter, Larry puts out a new video. Is Larry being consistent? The answer is yes. While he might not be frequent, while he might not be productive, Larry is being consistent. To help you get an even better understanding, think of the synonyms to consistency. They are steadiness, stability, constancy, uniformity, reliability, dependability. I really want you to get what consistency actually is because later in this video, when I'm telling you to be consistent with something, I want you to know what being consistent actually means. All right, it's doing something repetitively in a similar way. It's creating a pattern, basically. Okay, cool, your ears are bleeding and you now know what consistency is, thank God. But why should you care? Well, there are many different reasons, but I want to throw out three of what I would consider to be the main ones. Firstly, consistency helps the YouTube algorithm. Put simply, the YouTube algorithm prefers channels that are consistent over channels that aren't consistent. Now, that's not to say that the YouTube algorithm does not support channels that are inconsistent, or that it specifically discriminates against channels that are inconsistent, because I believe that's definitely not the case. I've seen many inconsistent channels grow incredibly quickly, but generally speaking, if you took a random pool of consistent channels and a random pool of inconsistent channels, you'd probably find that the YouTube algorithm would favor the consistent channels more. Secondly, consistency helps to condition viewers. Basically, think of it as ethical brainwashing. 
Psychologically speaking, our brains are designed to pick out patterns. Now, we as humans like to think that we are super intelligent and we make all our decisions based on free will. But especially coming from a marketing background myself, I can tell you that a lot of your habits, thoughts, beliefs, patterns, actions stem from you having been conditioned to actually do those things. It's almost like subtly helping viewers develop habits. And so one of the benefits of being consistent on YouTube is that if you stay consistent, you can condition your viewers ethically in a way that will benefit your channel. A really simple example of this would be, let's say you upload once a week on Friday at 9 p.m. and you do this consistently. Well, eventually your viewers, either consciously or subconsciously, will realize this and once a week at Friday at 9 p.m., they will check into your channel and watch your latest upload. And the final thing is that the consistency just pleases viewers. Generally, people love consistency a lot more than they realize. And there are many psychological terms we could dig into for this. But to keep this simple and put it all in a nutshell, basically, people plus familiarity equals love. <laughs> but in a nutshell, it really is just that simple. People like familiarity because people subscribe to you and your channel because they like you and your channel. They subscribe because they want to bookmark your channel. They want to potentially watch more of your videos at a later date because they enjoyed at least some of them to begin with. But if you and your channel are completely inconsistent, if they can't figure out what they can expect from you, or if they expect something from you and then they get something completely different, then most of them will find that off-putting. And that could lead viewers to not subscribing in the first place, or if they do subscribe, it will generally result in them not sticking around too long. And this isn't just an opinion, this has been proven time and time again on multiple channels. And so what I wanna do now is share some of the things I pay attention to that I try to keep similar on my gaming channel so they don't suffer from inconsistency syndrome. Okay, so the first thing you should intentionally try to keep consistent on your YouTube channel is your branding. And the main elements of your branding that you should really pay attention to keeping consistent is your actual content. So all of your graphics, videos, channel art, etc. The style of them should be consistent. And if you want an example of what consistent branding looks like, just look at pretty much any large successful company today and notice how they keep their logos, colors, banners, graphics, ads, all relatively cohesive and consistent. And secondly, try and be consistent with your tone of voice. So the personality of the channel, the way the channel interacts with the viewer. So this is difficult to articulate, but going back to the business world, when you're interacting with a business, you tend to get a feel as to what that business is about. For example, interacting with a law firm's website is very different to interacting with a fun park's website. The tone of voice, the style is different because they have different target audiences. And you should think about keeping your tone of voice on your channel consistent also. Now there's not necessarily a right or wrong tone of voice to have, but whatever one you choose, try to stick with it. For example, on this channel, we're more casual, colloquial. I throw in jokes here and there. That's my style, and I try to keep that consistent across all of the things that I do. If all of a sudden I started talking, typing, and acting like an uptight English lawyer, then the people who have followed this channel because they appreciate the more casual approach are probably gonna be disappointed with. The next thing to keep consistent is your content type. This one's also relatively self-explanatory, but basically it's the videos you post and their formats. Now this has a bit of overlap with selecting a niche, which is something we're gonna talk about more in depth in another video. But in summary, if you're creating humorous, funny moments videos, and that's what your audience are there to see you do, then keep creating humorous, funny moments videos. If you're creating news and update videos, then keep creating news and update videos. If you're creating reviews and challenge videos, then try to stay relatively consistent in posting review and challenge videos. Whatever it is that you do, keep experimenting until you find your niche and then stay consistent within that niche so people will know what kind of content to expect from you. The next point in relation to consistency that I think about a lot is your schedule. The frequency of how often you upload videos. Now, I don't wanna to spend too much time talking about this one either because I feel like there's a ton of YouTube videos out there that talk about how to maximize your productivity and how to create a content calendar or things like that. But the one thing I will say is that I highly recommend you try and keep consistent with your schedule in a sense that you should find the maximum amount of videos you can consistently create and then stick with that. For example, I see a lot of smaller careers, especially people who are still in college or in school, post a ton of videos when they're on break. And then when they go back to school or college, their posting schedule drops off and they go from posting like three to five videos a week to posting like one video a month. Don't do that, don't be that person. <laughs> if you have to, batch your videos, pre-record them and then release them on a consistent basis. For example, let's say that each year you can create about 24 videos. In that case, spread your videos out, post two videos every month. 
Don't post all of the videos all in one go while you're on break or vacation or whatever, and then leave your channel with no content for months on end. The final facet of consistency I want you to pay attention to is your personality. This is who you are as a person. Now that might sound ridiculous. You might be thinking, well, of course I'm gonna be consistent because I'm always me. But it's very easy for you to change and evolve your personality over time. And while it's okay, you wanna make sure that you aren't extremely inconsistent with who you are. For example, if one week you're incredibly positive, encouraging, uplifting, optimistic, and then the next week you're down, depressed, negative, pessimistic, then that's gonna really confuse people and probably put them off. So try to figure out what your voice is, what your personality is, and then try to be relatively consistent with it throughout all of your content. Okay, so those are the facets that I really pay attention to when trying to cultivate consistency on a gaming channel. But there's a caveat that I want to draw your attention to also because I feel like it's a stumbling block that many people will stumble over. And that is attempting to maintain consistency does not mean you should not innovate. Consistency and innovation can seem to be at odds in a sense that consistency is doing the same thing the same way repetitively and innovation is doing something different. And while they are kind of at odds, the truth is you do need both. If you're not consistent, you're gonna struggle for all the reasons we've mentioned in this video previously. But if you don't innovate, people will probably get bored of you, you'll get bored of your channel. And since YouTube is constantly changing and evolving, your channel will probably end up dying. So how should you approach this situation? Well, the best way I've found to do this is to consciously only innovate one facet at a time. So for example, if you wanna innovate and try out a new video uploading schedule, then be sure that during that period of innovation, you keep your personality, your content style or type, and your branding as consistent as possible. Possible. Want to try out a new type of content? Great, but make sure your branding, your schedule, and your personality still stay consistent throughout your experimentation with that new content. Want to turn over a new leaf as a person? Good on you, but keep your schedule, content type, and branding consistent as you're doing that. Get the idea? This will allow you to constantly keep innovating, growing, and staying fresh without putting off the majority of people who aren't comfortable with significant inconsistency. Okay. So now you've got some insight as to what consistency is, why it's important, and how you can balance consistency. Where should you start? I think the obvious and biggest facet of consistency most people talk about is schedule, how often you post frequency. And if you're interested, I just came out with a video on the top productivity tools I've used to become drastically more efficient. So if you wanna maintain a more consistent and frequent upload schedule, and click the link on screen, check out that video and get those tools. Most of them are free, by the way. So you can start becoming more consistent on YouTube and getting the active subscribers you deserve. Okay, bye.